I don't know if you can hear that. My <laughs> entertainment with disc brakes continues. Yes. Just arrived over in Gran Canaria. I'm going to be here for the next couple of weeks. I've got young Mason Holman coming to join me tomorrow. The two of us will we'll probably be able to get three, four blocks of training in over these next two weeks. Uh, typically, uh, three, three or four day blocks um, of, of training, followed by a, a rest day. Back into it again. I haven't done much intensity yet this season i've got copper bartley coming uh, one week after this camp so i'm gonna try and try and ramp up the miles here still need to get big volume in obviously i'm a, I'm a little bit behind because of the injury i had earlier on this this year so i i want to really ramp up the miles here introduce a little bit of intensity probably still going to find it difficult over at copper bartley um but that's yeah, that's the nature of the game. Taking it one step at a, at a time at the moment, really just doing the foundation work now, making sure I'm getting the miles in, building a big base for, for everything that's to come this season um, before, before really, I guess, turning the screws to ramp it up for with more intensity as, as I start getting closer to, to the bigger targets of the season. One thing that always amazes me about coming to the Canary Islands, Gran Canaria and Tenerife have seen the same thing, they both have their real sort of microclimates. Like the, the south side of the island is always a lot drier, hotter, uh, a lot more rocky. Generally, that's where most of the big hotels and resorts are. Most people coming for a sunny holiday would go to the south side of the island. But as soon as you come 50, 60 k's around the island to the other side, you just see it, I mean, a lot greener, a bit more overcast on this side. Probably not the best place to get a good suntan, but yeah, just stunning. I find it a lot quieter out here. There's no one around. I uh, just had a local, local cyclist, local fan, uh, pass me in his car and uh, offer me a bottle of water, which was well received. I'm running on empty here need to get to the next town and get some water so um but yeah beautiful around here absolutely stunning um road surface can be a bit dodgy at times but uh yeah it's worth it in the end it's worth coming out here Days in today, we've got five, five and a half hours on the cards, almost 4,000 meters of climbing. Uh, got young Mason Hollyman, 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 yeah. Hollyman, yeah. Hollyman, oh, Hollyman, yeah, we're having Hollyman <laughs> for company. Uh, he's been not sure if he's here by will or if uh, he was a sacrificial lamb. Um, but, uh, he's actually handing it out to me, rather. I'm, I'm taking shots here today. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty, pretty amazing landscape. Uh, pretty rough terrain. Uh, just up and down, really. Different sides of the volcano. Lots of fun. That's seriously cool. Come to Gran Canaria, you've got to be prepared for the wind as well, especially up the east side of the island. 
this, I guess about 50, 50, 60 kilometers an hour winds today. So there's wind clouds. Super windy out here today. Pretty cool little dust devil forming there. I don't know what you really call them, but I used to call them dust devils anyway when I was growing up. One of the issues when you don't know the roads, you end up on roads like this sometimes. Just watching Woodsy sweep up at Gran Camino. Gran Camino? Gran Camino. Yeah. He's in yellow. Hopefully he's going to hold it. Still going strong at 42. I just want to say a thank you to everyone over at Masterworks for partnering with me on this episode. Masterworks is a platform that allows you to invest in high-end art without actually having to buy the physical painting yourself and uh, look after it and care for it the way you'd have to. Personally, I, I don't know a lot about art at all, but looking through their, their portfolio, it's pretty quick to, to recognize names like Banksy, Monet, Keith Haring, who actually designed the, the logo for Best Buddy as well. Go check out their website on masterworks.io and read the description below to see how you can skip the waiting list to join. Speaking of Best Buddies, they're a charitable organization I've been involved with over the last few years. They do a lot of work with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities helping create opportunities for them, create jobs for them, integrate them socially into society. And every year we, we, we do a, a, a bunch of different uh, bodies challenges to, to help raise funds for that cause. These challenges are always great fun. There's one I go to over in Miami every year, for example, where you ride through the sort of downtown streets of Miami. It's completely closed to traffic. It's an experience you'd, you'd never otherwise have. It's a great group of people and um, definitely suggest you check it out on bestbuddies.org. I'm uh, flying solo today. Mason has uh, really left me hanging. Invite the guy on training camp and he just sits on the beach all day. So yeah, not impressed at all. Not impressed at all. Not really. Um, he's, his coach has pres prescribed him something a little bit easier today. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing pretty big volume at the moment as well, so um, he's he's doing a little bit more focused work at the moment, I think. So today I've got the last day of a block. I've got seven hours with just over 4,000 meters of elevation. Um, yeah, not not what he was down to do today, so that's why I'm alone. I don't know if you can hear that. My <laughs> entertainment with disc brakes continues. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're still a work in progress. I think their technology is improving, but the, just the margins are so slim. You do a big descent and the alignment moves completely. So um, kind of need to stop and readjust everything again. So. I don't know, uh, uh, we're riding Shimano at the moment. Um, I hear the new 12 speed Shimano is, uh, has, has sorted out some of these issues, but I think with the older stuff with the 11 speed, still getting a lot of rubbing, getting one piston firing more than the other one, which uh, always puts things out of alignment. But uh, yeah, no matter. <laughs> How many mechanics I've spoken to or taken the bike to, they just can't get 100% on top of it. It's always going to eventually 
start giving a few issues as soon as you start doing some, some really big descents. But c'est la vie. The time, for the time being, just put the earphones in and pretend I can't hear it. One last interval today, six hour ride. Uh, a bunch of uh, sort of lower threshold kind of efforts thrown in for good measure. Uh, last little climb today and start heading home. Beautiful out here. Not a bad, uh, not a bad backdrop for today. All going, all going really well actually. I'm feeling, feeling like the legs are, legs are turning well. Certainly starting to see some, some progressions on, on last year's numbers, which is, which is really encouraging. And yeah, that's what I was, what I was hoping to get out of this camp. So good to be here. Good to be here, getting the work in, and um, yeah, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully it pays dividends in the months to come.